I'm Andy Masick. I'm the president of the Heinz History Center. That's my day job, but I'm also the chairman of the Pittsburgh Bicentennial Commission. And we have gathered today to celebrate 200 years of Pittsburgh history. Uh, you should all know, anyone who's lived here for a few years remembers that a few years ago, in 2008, we celebrated Pittsburgh's 250th anniversary. What? What's that about? 250 and now it's 200? What? Do we need to check our math or what? Well, in fact, 250 years ago, Fort Pitt was founded. The British Empire established its claim on the forks of the Ohio River. And the, the community of Pittsburgh was founded. Remember that George Washington and General Forbes rode up to the point. They found the smoldering ruins of Fort Duquesne, and Washington turned to Forbes, the Scotsman, and Washington said, what are we going to call this place now? We can't call it Duquesne. That sounds way too French. Sorry, Jean-Pierre. <laughs> but it was Forbes who said, Forbes from Edinburgh, Scotland, said, well, why don't we call it Pittsburgh? We'll call it Pittsburgh. And that's why Pittsburgh has an H on it to this very day. Now, some of you who have been around for a while know that Pittsburgh didn't always have its H. In 1890, the federal government took our H away, and we became a burg, not a borough. And the people of Pittsburgh petitioned Congress to get our H back. But it took 20 years to do it. It was 1911 that Pittsburgh finally got its H back and we have it to this very day, and we're never going to let it go again. <laughs> well, those of you who understand the, the workings of government, it may only be the mayor here who really understands uh, the, the vagaries and workings of uh, government, know that Pittsburgh became a borough and a township, but in 1816, remember that date, 1816, the legislature of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania gave Pittsburgh the right to become a city. And it was in March of 1816 that the incorporation of the city was made possible. And in July of that year, 1816, the first mayor, Ebenezer Denny, was sworn in. Ebenezer Denny, a Revolutionary War hero. He only lasted six months as a mayor. Mayor Peduto already has him beat. So we now today want to begin a celebration, a year-long celebration of Pittsburgh's 200th birthday. And toward that end, the mayor has assembled a volunteer commission. He's appointed me the chairman. Big mistake, Mr. Mayor. And we have 300 community organizations have rallied around the Pittsburgh bicentennial flag. We even have a flag. Look at this. How's that? Huh? Yeah. Pittsburgh. Can you hold my flag so we yeah. So we even have our own banner to rally around. And we have a steering committee of 30 people. I just want you to know they've been working really hard on this. And some of the steering committee members are here. Oh, we need two microphones. This is a bicentennial. We need two <laughs> microphones. So uh, the Education Committee, because there's going to be all kinds of interesting educational programs over the next year, is headed by Esther Bush. You know, her day job is with the Urban League, but she's running a dynamite team of education experts. Those of you on the Education Committee, could you raise your hands right now and wave? They're all over. Give them a round of applause. There's Esther over here. We have a bridges committee, because we're, we're bridging the past and the future. We're bridging rivers. And Jay Sukernik and Jeremy Waldrop are the chairs of the bridges committee. Are you here, guys? They're probably out on the bridges. T. 
Kinsey Labrie and Craig Davis from Visit Pittsburgh are heading up the events committee. And everyone on the events committee, raise your hands, would you? See, they're everywhere. And then the preservation committee. We're not forgetting about the past as we focus on the future here in Pittsburgh. And Mary Frances Cooper of the Carnegie Library is heading up a dynamite committee, the preservation committee. Preservation committee, there's Mary Frances. Raise your hand. Kevin McMahon of the Cultural Trust has been doing a dynamite job with communications. And Kevin has a great committee working with him. Kevin, where are you? I saw you. You're here. And of course, Dennis Yablonski and Sylvia Fields are working with the mayor on a funding committee because we do need some money and we need some help putting this together. The crazy thing about this bicentennial is it's a celebration, it's an anniversary on a shoestring. We don't really have a big budget for this. We're Pittsburghers. We just make things happen. It's kind of like making stone soup, isn't it? Remember that story, that nursery rhyme, stone soup? A couple of, uh, three guys come to town, they're hungry, they ask for food, everybody closes their shutters, slams their doors. We're hungry too, we don't have anything to give. But the soldiers say, oh, we didn't know you were so bad off. We'll help you, we'll make some stone soup. We've got these soup making stones. If somebody has a pot and some water, we'll show you how to make it. So they put those stones in the soup. People start gathering around, they build a big fire. The soldiers say, you know, the best stone soup I ever had had onions in it. Does anybody have any onions? Well, yeah, I've got an onion. They throw that in. Anybody have potatoes? That makes really good stone soup. Well, a few potatoes. There's a chicken in there. There are turnips. Pretty soon they've got this big boiling pot of stew that feeds everybody in town and there's some left over. Well, that's sort of what we're doing with our Pittsburgh Bicentennial. We're making stone soup here and Pittsburghers, well, they pitch in. So if you've got ideas, we want to hear them. I'm not going to take any more time because the mayor's here. He wants to tell you about some of the signature events. There are going to be over 200 events going on over the year. Uh, Pittsburgh organizations are going to host those events, but there are a few signature events that are coming up in March on Incorporation Day, in July with a bicentennial bash uh, and a uh, parade to the point. Uh, they'll also be on light up night. Uh, hopefully we'll light up a bridge or have a big to do and then first night. The mayor's going to tell you a little bit more about some of those things and get us going on Pittsburgh's bicentennial. It's Pittsburgh's birthday. Here's Mayor Peduto. Thanks, Andy. I won't try to, uh, to, to go beyond the history, but you know there is a great history to tell here. It was uh, in 1816 when uh, the city, well, actually we were the borough, before that we were the township, but when we asked to become a city, of, we became the city of Pittsburgh. And the first um, council selected to be the mayor, uh, a guy named Ebenezer Denny, who was a Revolutionary War hero, who fought with General uh, Washington against Cornwallis when the British surrendered to the United States. And he was actually given the honor of holding the colors the, of the United States flag at that surrendering. Uh, a hundred years later, uh, Mayor Armstrong, Joe the Builder, they called him, for the 100th anniversary, commissioned the building of this beautiful building for the 100th anniversary. And if you look around and you see all of the history of the city in it, if you ever look at the elevators and you see the, the small building and the small child holding it, then the, the, uh, the adolescent holding another building and then the adult holding this building, you'll see the history of the city halls uh, that were built and the county courthouses that were built. And the idea back 100 years ago that we could work together as a city and a county and literally work together in one building and creating that building. That was the legacy of our first 100 years, this beautiful building. Well, we don't have money. <laughs> so we have to find more creative ways to be able to celebrate the 200th. And we've brought together a group of civic leaders uh, to help us to do just that. And you know what? It's a really great way to do it because what we're going to do is celebrate community. We're going to celebrate this city through an entire year. And we're going to give every city res resident and those that come to visit this city a passport to see it.
We often say that we don't cross rivers, we don't go to other neighborhoods. This is gonna be our way to be able to celebrate it through 300 different organizations and their celebrations. To be able to create a parade of all the parades, because our parades are very specific, but they very rarely include everyone in an opportunity to see that as a way to celebrate this wonderful city. It will be a year of celebrating the greatness that is this city through its people. So we start back in, in, in March. And in March was when the city became incorporated, when Harrisburg gave us the right to become a city. And on March 18th, on the day of Incorporation Day, this building will become an open house, a museum of city archives, of history of the city. We'll work with the History Center and History and Landmarks Foundation and our city clerk so that people can walk and come into this building and take a look back over 200 years of what made this city the city that it is today. And that evening, we'll work with our cultural institutions to create a gallery crawl throughout downtown to celebrate the civic and the culture of the 200 years that helped to build it. And in fact, we're working with the Pittsburgh Symphony to be able to have a free concert for the people of Pittsburgh that will be the first symphony that the symphony ever played. In July, the Bicentennial Bash. I got to put a special thank you out to Gloria Feruzen in my uh, office, who on her own time, on weekends and in the evening, has been able to contact yeah, yeah, because this news didn't happen until last night. She has now been able to contact descendants of all 56 mayors who will be coming back to the city of Pittsburgh from as far away as Europe to be able to have a day where they'll be here, where we'll have that wonderful parade that will march down the street and go right down to Point State Park, and we'll have a party all day with concerts of music of all the different types of heritage and culture that have made Pittsburgh and will make Pittsburgh in the future. And th the day before that, on July 8th, the Bicentennial Bash, hosted by Andy and his staff at the Heinz History Center, again will be a celebration that what makes Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. We'll be working over the course of Light Up Night, uh, and November 16th through the 19th, when the National League of Cities will bring 4,000 mayors and council members and city leaders to the city of Pittsburgh, and we'll get to show off our wonderful city to this entire country. And then, as Andy stated, we'll be rounding things up on December 31st on first night. Those are the big events, but all the small events that happen in all of the neighborhoods, all of the different ways that we celebrate when we gather together whether it's through the great race or the marathon or the arts festival, they'll all have a special 200th spin to them. We'll be working to help to bring that together in that passport that will be the access for everyone to be able to be a part. We'll open up new neighborhoods and new experiences for the residents of the city of Pittsburgh and our suburban neighbors to really celebrate how special this city is. I want to recognize and thank City Controller Michael Lamb, who is here with us as well, as well as the members of this committee. I thank you for the time and the effort that you put in. And it's interesting when you look at the committee. It's made up of so many nonprofits and civic organizations and organizations that represent a broad base of this city. And it really is a testament of how far we have come these past 200 years. Thank you, Mayor Peduto. The 60th mayor of Pittsburgh, number 60. It's going to be a good year, 2016.